And now all 50 states, as we know, taking steps toward reopening. And while new cases, hospitalizations and deaths are falling in most places, there are still hot spots appearing across the country. Steve Osinsami joins us from outside the CDC in Atlanta with more. Good morning, Steve. Good morning to you, Robin. Today in Ohio, for example, restaurants can open to table service inside. Here in Georgia, the reopening began weeks ago, but there are parts of this country that are still late to this pandemic. In Alabama, for example, this morning they're seeing their highest number of cases. The reopening and the comeback is nationwide this morning. Authorities in all 50 states are now easing restrictions meant to slow down the spread of the coronavirus. Petrol, how may I help you? The number of people dying and getting sick every day is generally falling, but local outbreaks that no one saw coming still have health officials worry. That's really our focus right now, working with every state to really help them identify where these clusters came from historically. They're keeping a close watch on sick workers at food processing plants in Nebraska, Oklahoma, Iowa, and Virginia. Tyson employee Gonzalo Peralta should be at work today at a meat plant in Kansas, but is instead on a ventilator fighting for his life. His wife and son got sick too and have since recovered. My dad, you'd never see him sick. He's never been sick, He's never missed a day of work. So it just shows how bad this virus can affect someone that is a hardworking person and won't quit. There are more new outbreaks in nursing homes, prisons, and the Navajo Nation, which now beats even New York State for the highest infection rate in the country. In New York City, fewer people are needing to be hospitalized. Just 295 people had to be hospitalized Tuesday. But New York's governor points out that in poor and brown and black communities, there are many new cases. How do you socially distance in the lobby? How do you socially distance in a, a small playground that is attached to public housing? In Illinois, fewer than 4,000 people are still hospitalized with COVID-19 the lowest number since this pandemic started. But a doctor from Chicago's Northwestern University says they're seeing the virus spread through families of patients they've treated before. Community hospitals are getting overwhelmed now. They fill up all their beds and so we start taking those patients. In San Francisco, one of the first big cities with shelter in place orders, a new mark, only one death in two days. But they believe bus drivers and other essential workers are still at risk. The demographics of our COVID-19 population was to continue to be primarily younger essential workers, uh, primarily uh, Latinx and uh, some Asians as well. Um, but we, do, we are seeing a decline in cases. This former director of the CDC says contact tracing, where we closely track who has been exposed, will be key in preventing a local outbreak from getting out of control. These are the real risk places. We have to make sure that there isn't explosive spread there because that can kill a lot of people. Here in Georgia, the numbers appear to be moving in the right direction. In fact, in the 21 states that have eased restrictions since May 4th or earlier, ABC News has found no major increase in hospitalizations, deaths, or percentage of people testing positive. George. Boy, that is encouraging news, Steve. Okay, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.